In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the chart editor in SPSS. And the example I'm going to use is a clustered bar chart. Now to open up the chart editor, you can either right click, choose edit content and in separate window, or you can just double click. And when the chart editor is open, you'll see behind you that your graph is hashed out. And that means the chart editor is open. So make sure to close this when you're finished. Now, what we want is the properties window and mine's closed at the moment. So if you choose this white icon, it will show. Now, because nothing's selected, the only two tabs that I see are chart size and variables. And the first thing I usually do change is the chart size because this is far too large to put into a document. So I'm going to change this to about 275. And as long as you leave uh, maintain aspect ratio ticked, you don't need to change the width. It will automatically change and click apply. The next thing you can do is change the colors of your bars. So anytime you're doing anything in SPSS, always single click, never double click or you won't get anywhere. So first single click somewhere on your graph. And you'll notice all the bars are highlighted. And when that happens, if I were to go to fill and border, you'll see that my fill and my pattern are locked because I can't change the color of both to be the same. So if I want to edit one color, I need to select one of the colors individually. So I'm going to select the green ones first, single click. And now I can choose a color here from the right. So I'm going to go ahead and choose red and click apply. And any changes you make, you need to click apply. And now if we single click on the blue ones so that they're the only ones highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and change the pattern. And I'm going to change it to this diagonal stripe and click apply. Now the next thing to do is to change the font size. Now you notice this font is quite small. And if I were to put this into a document and if I needed to make it any smaller, like shrink it uh, the picture down, it would make my font nearly illegible. So if I single click on my male female, my text style tab automatically is selected and you have a preferred size and a minimum size. So SPSS is saying, well, what do you want the font size to be? Well, I'd prefer it to be size 10. And then it says at the smallest, what can it be? Well, I don't want it to be any smaller than a size 8. So SPSS will try to make it size 10, but if my graph is too small, it will make it no smaller than a size 8. And if I click apply, and you'll notice that my labels here got a little bit bigger in font, and you can do that to any of your labels or titles that you want to. The next thing I want to do is change one of my um, labels. So if I single click, I'm going to change count to say frequency. So now it's selected, it's got the yellow border. I'm going to single click again and I'm going to change it to say frequency. Now that's changed. Now you can also add a chart title if you want to. And that would be up here with this icon. I don't want a title for mine. I'm going to put a title within my document. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And the last thing I want to look at doing is changing my frequency scale. So if I single click here, and if I go to the scale tab, I can choose to have a custom minimum and maximum value. I can also choose what my major increment is. So if I wanted it to go up by five instead of 10, I could do that as well. Now my minimum value changed to 30. I don't want it to be 30, I want it to be zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that, click apply. Now a unit of five for my ma major increment is far too cluttered here. So probably don't want that. Maybe I'll change that back to 10. Now you also have something called a margin. You have a lower and an upper margin. And usually in a bar graph, it only gives you an upper margin by default. And this is how much extra space is above your maximum value. So my maximum is 60, but I still have a bit of space above. So if I change that, you can see what happens. Now 60 is at the very top. So usually it's good to have maybe a five or 10% margin. Now, if you make any mistakes while editing your graph, you can use the undo feature to undo them and go back. However, once you close this box, if you open it again in the chart editor, you'll see that you can no longer make any undos. You can still make edits, so I can click on here and change anything that I've done already but I can't undo any of the things I already did. So once you close this, that's kind of final and you can't go back 